Hey guys, what's up? V8 Mark here, and today we're going to be taking a look at another type of ammunition that uh, we're going to be checking out the accuracy of, and this time it is the Hotshot brand. Of course, we're looking at 7.62x39. Uh, it's the Hotshot brand ammunition that has hit the shelves recently. I actually saw this in my big, my local Big Five, and I decided to pick it up. I paid about $9.99 for the box, I think, and it was supposedly on sale. Of course, uh, online, I think you can find it for just over 25 cents, maybe six, seven dollars for the box of 20, something like that. I don't, that's not 25 cents, but um, you get the idea. It's not exactly 20 cents, but it's not 9.99. Uh, but so what I wanted to do was just check out the accuracy of it and see how how accurate is it. Initially, when I picked it up, I really thought this was the Ted Nugent. Uh, brand ammo. You know, he has the American flag also printed on that box. Um, and I thought that's what it was when I picked it up first. And then when I looked at it and I looked closely and it says uh, made in Ukraine down at the bottom, I realized that it's not that ammo. And I said, oh, what the hell, I'll try it anyways. So I, I bought it and um, here it is right here. And basically, you guys can go ahead and just read the box. It's a 123 grain, 762 by 39 full metal jacket. Um, let's see what else it would say here. Um, just in case you've never actually seen it, because this is fairly new, at least it's new to me, I haven't really seen it around, uh, I've seen it online, but I haven't seen it in person, um, some other thing, here's something that's really interesting, it is distributed by Century International Arms, uh, not manufactured, not, uh, it doesn't say imported, but distributed, so I thought that was kind of interesting, um, so basically we'll go ahead and just take a look at the target here, uh, this is at 100 yards at uh, 80 degrees with no wind, uh, 80 degrees Fahrenheit, no wind. Um, and I don't know if you guys do recall, but um, I have an AR-15 chambered in 7.62x39, and that's what I use to make these shots here. Um, I did try to hold everything as controlled as possible um, by cleaning out the bore with a bore brush. Uh, and I don't strip the copper out of my bore. Uh, I leave it there. I just kind of swab it out make sure there's nothing else inside there. Um, but just make sure that it's shiny and whatnot. Uh, the barrel's ER Shaw. It is um, a free floated rifle. It's not just any kind of AR. And I bench rest it. I didn't use a bipod because my bipod is hooked up to my gas block. Um, I haven't decided. I haven't taken the time to drill my handguard out to put in a piece of rail there for my bipod. So what I did was I just used a sandbag on a block of wood uh, to keep it as accurate as possible. Of course. Uh, you know, with the group that I got here, you guys can assume that shooter error may have something to do with it. That's always this can be assumed. Um, but I, you know, I used the rifle I had. I didn't want to use an AK because I knew there would be a lot of flack for using a gun that is supposedly really, really, really inaccurate. And, or an SKS as well. So I thought the AR was probably one of the best platforms to choose as far as the semi-automatic. Of course, if you use a bolt-action version, uh, or excuse me, a bolt-action 762 by 39 rifle, um, then maybe you'll see some different results, but I'm I'm doing I'm doing what I got, what I can here with what I got. So uh, let's go ahead and get on it and, and analyze what we got here. This is basically a one and a quarter inch group uh, that is measured from the middle of the shots, the middle of the two furthest apart shots here, and they are roughly about uh, an inch wide and a quarter, uh, basically about a quarter, one and a quarter inch or one and a half inch uh, long. Uh, group here. So it's a fairly tight group for, I would say, steel case ammunition. Um, of course, you know, at 50 cents around, actually it's going to be closer to, what is it going to be closer to, about 30 cents or so. Um, it's not too bad. Uh, if you can find it for less than 30 cents, I think it'd be probably a little bit more worth it. According to the other types of steel case ammunition that I shot, this is probably the most accurate one I saw, and it was the one that impressed me the most. Um, of course, if you've seen some of my other videos on the different types of ammunition that I have, that I've uh, checked the accuracy on, you'll see sometimes I'll get like, here I have uh, two shots that are really close together, and then I got one straggler here. Uh, sometimes I'll get three grouped really close, like on top of each other, stacked right on top of each other. That's fine and dandy and all, but uh, if it has three stacked here and then it has one that flies out here, that is not uh, acceptable for me because I think that I need to be able to predict roughly where that shot's going to go. So if I'm aiming, you know, here, of course, you know, the different types of ammo, if it's high powered or lower powered, it's going to get kind of either drop down or go up. Um, but basically I should be able to draw like a one and a quarter inch circle and know, well, like a one inch circle and know that I'm going to hit 
somewhere in that area, not um, you know a three inch group where it could be right where I'm aiming, you know, maybe a half inch off, or it could be two inches off to the side or something like that. That is not acceptable, at least in my opinion. Um, but yeah, it's a five shot group, so you got one, two here, one, two there, it's four, and then the fifth one right here. I don't remember the order of where they hit, but that's what it was. So let's go ahead and go over some of the details here. Um, it's basically what you saw in the box. Hot shot brand ammunition, 762 by 39 123 grain, full metal jacket distributed by Century International Arms, made in Ukraine. Uh, one thing I noticed about the, the round itself, it is slightly different than the other uh, types of ammo I have, or at least the other ammo that I have, which is uh, Tula Ammo and Yulanovsk, uh, which is Tula Ammo and Yulanovsk are basically, they're manufactured by the same place. Yulanovsk makes both of them. Uh, but this seems to be a little bit more shiny. The poly coat on it seems more shiny maybe because it's newer made I'm not too sure about that but that's just one of the physical characteristics I noticed that was different uh, as far as the head stamp it is head stamped hot shot here let's see if I can um, first of all hold it still for you guys so there you go hot shot 762 by 39 and it looks like it says LU there uh, but that's what that head stamp shows um, we can take a look at uh, some other Ammunition. What do I have here? I have, I think, 154 grain. This is two ammo, so you can take a look at the head stamps on these and see how close they are or how different they are. And, you know, they basically look the same to me. And I'm not sure what that proof mark is on the side there, but I can't really tell myself. But as far as the two rounds, of course, this is 154 grain, so it's kind of stamped differently. Uh, the color of the bolt's slightly different, and you can see that this one's a little bit more shiny than this one. This one seems a little dull. I think it's just because it's older. Not too sure. I thought I would point that out anyways for you guys. Um, so that's basically the accuracy I was able to get out of that uh, round with the, with the rifle and the setup that I had. Uh, and I thought I'd just share that with you guys. So if you're wondering if you wanted to get this type of ammunition, um, and see if it's worth it. It might it might just be for plinking, you know, if you just want to target practice for fun, you know, pop soda cans or something like that, or, you know, fruit, but you don't want to spend, you know, a dollar a round or something like that. This might be the ammunition that you probably want to get. Um, although you can make do with the two ammo, this one I think will give you the tighter grip so it's more predictable and knowing where the shot's going to go, you'll be more accurate, I feel, with this type of ammunition compared to the other types that are out there, compared to the other types of Russian ammunition that are out there. Uh, if you guys have any other conclusions that you drew from this um, from this uh, shot group here and based off what I said, please let us know in the comments below. If you have anything you want to add, let us know again in the comments. You got any questions? Again, put it down in the comments and I'll take a look at it and I do answer all the questions. Uh, other than that, that's the video for you guys today. Via Merck, signing out. Oh, and as well, please check the description for any other further details or anything like that. Be it Mert, sign out.